Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Diana and on today's episode, we're gonna be giving an honest review of the limited edition Hialeah Opoly game. Last week, I did an unboxing of it where I showed you all the pieces and all the landmarks and all the contingency cards and everything. On today's episode, I'm gonna be letting you know what I thought worked, what I thought didn't work, and what could be improved. Let's get to it. So things I really enjoyed about this game, I would say just the existence of it, the fact that Hialeah has its own game is just mind blowing to me because it's funny. I think Hialeah is such a great city. It's deserving of its game. Another thing that I feel really worked in the game were the landmarks. I mean, they really hit the spot with the historical staples such as Mylander and Amelia Earhart Park, but also like the newer places that not everybody in Hialeah has experienced. For example, La Fresa Francesa and the Lea Arts District. I think that combination really encompasses the city as a whole because it really is showing you all sides of Hialeah. Really important thing that I enjoyed personally was the mention of the three major high schools, HML Hialeah High and Westland Hialeah High. Like that was so cool to see in this game because any person that's playing the game will really and went to either of those schools will really feel identified with this game. So when I saw Hialeah High, I was so proud because that's my high school and it really brought back a lot of nostalgic memories of that point in time. So the fact that I have this in a board game to come back to every time I play with friends or family, I think that's a really cool thing. On to the cons of the things that I didn't like about this game. So on the big fun and the contingency cards, even though I think they were very like spread out and well-rounded, I think some of the things that were in there were repeated too much, like the traffic jam, but also it was too generic. I would have really enjoyed ones like the Molina's Ranch, the one it says here, you ate too many plantains from Molina's Ranch, lose a turn. I think I would have liked to see more things like that specific to certain locations within the city. Another thing I didn't like were the two typos, unfortunately. The fact that it said Buckley Dent Park and I did notice afterwards the Hialeah Miami Lakes card doesn't say the lakes part, it just says Hialeah Miami. So that kind of threw off the magic of the board game. However, Late for the Sky did post on Instagram that they did apologize for the typo and that they have fixed it and that they will be remaking whichever new batch of games with the corrected typo. So kudos to you, Late for the Sky. I think that was a really smart move. Another thing that I wasn't 100% excited about were the pieces. I was actually a little bit disappointed with the pieces because I didn't really think they were fully representative of Hialeah. I would change the heart to be like a Cuban colada. I think that would be a perfect representation for one of the pieces. I think the smile could have been a pastelito or also like a Cuban bread. I think that would have been funny. I think the pretzel could have been a croqueta. I think that's a bit more representative of Hialeah. Um, I think the hand could have been like a domino piece. Maybe the dog, I would have chosen like a rooster instead. And definitely, like hands down, the gym shoe would have been a chancleta. Well, I would give Hialeahopoly's limited edition game an 8 out of 10. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this game. Do you think that my honest review was accurate? Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Would you have changed the pieces to something a little more authentic to Hialeah? Well, as always, thank you again for joining me on this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. And if you have any ideas of any future videos that you would like to see, let me know. See you on the next video.